Hello and welcome back to Cool Magic Forum. I'm Cuz Red. Please call me Cuz. And today I may have a perfect card trick. Uh, you might be asking, will it take me a long time to learn? No. Does it need any gimmick cards? No. Does it require any special sleight of hand? No. Uh, do I even have to touch the deck? No. I told you, it's about perfect. Stick around, let's get this started. Everyone, hope you're doing real great today. Like I always remind you, if it's your first time here at Cool Magic Forum, definitely go on down there and hit that subscribe button for me, would you? Very important if you want to get in on any of the contests here on Cool Magic Forum. Got to be a subscriber. So yeah, right now, if you're new here, hit that hit that subscribe button. Um, meanwhile, I've got a great trick for you guys. Uh, like I was saying, really, it is, it's called the Lazy Man's Card Trick. It goes something like this. Going to need to get out. Uh, deck of cards here. Yeah, geez. I'm gonna need something sharp to actually take these out here. I'm not that strong anymore, apparently. Okay. Get these open here. See, completely sealed decks, two decks. I would, even if I was in this situation, give a spectator the choice of either the cards. Get all the sharp objects out of the way. We're gonna have to have that happen. Okay. Ah, there we go. Red deck, blue deck. Which would you want? Whatever one you want, that's the one we're going to use. Okay, so the spectator would choose the uh, red deck. We're going to go ahead and set the blue deck aside then. Now this card, plastic card. Here you go. A little tip for you. Plastic cards are perfect for opening up a brand new deck of cards. Named are perfect. Anyways, there we go. Got it. And uh, I would have a spectator. Go ahead and open up the cards. Like I said, I'm not going to touch the cards in these, in this, whatsoever. I'm not even going to touch the cards. Uh, let the spectator do all the work. I'm just going to watch here. Okay. Now the spectator, go ahead and take out all the cards and remove any of the jokers and the ad cards, of course. Hey, this has no ad cards in it. Do you see that? What a surprise. Oh, there they are. Oh, hiding in there. <laughs> that was really strange. You see that? <laughs> I knew those ad cards got to be in there somewhere. But yeah, that was Spectator. Go ahead, open up the pack, set them to get rid of the uh, ad cards and the uh, the jokers, of course. And we'll just kind of leave those over here while the uh, deck stays here. And I would have uh, somebody go ahead and uh, have them uh, cut the cards. Have a Spectator cut the cards. Okay. And then wherever you cut at, take a look at that card. Okay, I can see it. I've seen this trick before. But you guys go ahead and take, take a look at that. We'll remember that. Okay, and then we're taking, put it over on this side now, and lose it into the deck. Okay, then I would invite the spectator to cut the cards once again and complete the cut. Okay, then go ahead and turn the cards over. Very important, have them turn the cards over, and then cut the deck again. Okay, as a matter of fact, we might just give it a couple of cuts. Go ahead and cut the deck one more time. Okay, and again. We get the, all the cards mixed up in here really well. Okay, go ahead and cut the deck again. Cut it anywhere you want to. Can you, can you cut it while you're looking at me? You're not even looking. Go ahead and cut the cards again. And we'll give the cards yet another. Just anywhere you want to. Give them a cut. Get these cards. Because remember, they're brand new cards. you got to get them all mixed up here. Go ahead and cut them. Keep on cutting them. Okay. And you, <laughs> you can have the spectator doing all kinds of fun things. Just cut the cards. Here, just cut the cards. Just cut the cards anywhere you want. Okay. And, yeah, that should be about good. Okay, about right there. Go ahead and flip them over. Then I would have a spectator. Uh, put your finger right in the middle of the card there. Okay. And I want you to think of your card. Okay, keep thinking of your card. And I'm going to get it. See, when your card first went in there, it was just about at the 30-second position. Now, I can picture it rising up through the deck. Okay. You can see it. Your card, your card is right now five cards down from the top. Five cards down from the top there. 
Okay, and have, them, have the spectator go ahead and lay down five cards. One, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth card, and there it is, your card. <laughs> Magician never even has to touch the deck. Okay, you guys want to know how that happens? You stick around. Let's get this tutorial started. jumping right into the tutorial for this great trick. Uh, like I said, this is entitled Lazy Man's Card Trick. It is originally a Harry Lorraine trick. Harry Lorraine was the first one to publish it, and uh, he actually credited learning it to from uh, the great old magician Al Coran, if you want a little bit of history on this trick, because it is a very historical trick. I believe it was uh, first published in 1962, by Harry Lorraine, and it's a great trick. Um, a lot of magicians, famous magicians, use this trick and uh, use it along with the Bannon Triumph, which was the last card trick that I showed to you guys, and is and the last part of the uh, of the Triumph series, the last one I did on that. We will continue the Triumph series very very soon, but. Uh, then I learned how much the lazy man, what lazy man card trick is, and how that really affects how you are, affects and allows you to get into the ban and triumph quite easily. I'm going to explain that. Uh, okay, uh, what's going on here? We started from a brand new deck of cards, so we are in new deck order, meaning you've got what on the bottom? All the spades, right? Okay, you got all the spades there. Let's get them all together as they would be here. Okay, I'm going to put it totally back into numerical order, the whole deck or anything, but we're going to have the spades exactly as they were. When you open up a deck, okay, you're going to have all the spades are going to be exactly like that. We're sort of in new deck order, but it's kind of messed it up some because of the uh, the cutting and everything. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pretend, pretend like we're in new deck order, and it just came out of the box and everything. And then, uh, yeah, you would have a spectator. I said They do all the work. You really can do this again doesn't have to be from a new deck but if you're going to do this from a new deck which is an idea that i got from dave thorson another great old magician very great I hate to call him old dave man fantastic magician but uh yeah i got that uh, this idea for, uh, for doing doing lazy man's card trick uh from dave thorson where he does it straight out of an unopened pack so yeah if you had that i had the red and blue decks out here you can have them choose which one and whichever one they choose that's the one you're gonna, they're going to use they pick the red deck so we're using the red deck and they completely unwrap it open it everything okay um yeah if you want to need to help them open it up you might but you just tell them i don't want to touch the cards in this i'm not going to touch that deck of cards during this whole thing this whole trick okay and so yeah you're in you're in new deck order we'll totally pretend okay then you're going to have your spectator cut the deck anywhere they would like okay and then take where they cut at okay and look at that card where they cut at all right and then place it back on the other stack and then we're going to take the bottom stack and put it on top okay see where i'm going with this we just did if you were doing it in another trick you might have the ace you know the ace of spades would be your key card now you've basically got a whole uh whole suit of cards that is your key card okay and that's how it's happening now. It's happening with the spades because this is uh, this is the variation from a brand new deck, okay? And uh, then you would have them go ahead and you can even teach them, okay, say, uh, do you know how to cut cards? Uh, most people say yes. Okay, well, this is, uh, you know, this is, this is cutting the cards and then this is completing the cut. Okay, so have them do that. Have them cut the cards and complete it maybe just once or twice while they're face down. And then I'm having them flip the cards over and say, okay, now we're going to do them from face up. Okay, we're going to see these cards getting mixed. Okay, go ahead and cut the cards again. Okay, now all as you're looking for is when that spade comes up. Okay, and it may take a few times. Okay, tell them if you don't have to cut right in the middle. See, there's a spade right there. You don't have to cut right in the middle. Okay, you can cut a little bit closer to the top, a little bit closer to the bottom, wherever you want to cut. Okay, but if they just take a couple cuts, you see real quick that time got right there to the five of spades, which I think, yeah, we had last time, didn't we? Okay, so yeah, you've got the five of spades now on the bottom. You say, okay, that should be good. Go ahead and flip the cards over. Okay, they won't notice what the number was or anything like that there. Um, but yeah. And you would just have them. The rest of it's kind of acting, you know. It's just tricks all done. You're not touching this. You're not doing anything but just giving them very distinct, specific things to do, okay? Just, you know, cutting the deck, setting aside, 
completing the cut they turn it over simple things but make sure that they always cut don't try to ever put it into three piles or cut into three piles they're just going to cut even cuts we're just going to mix the card up from even cuts and then you have them yeah put the finger right in the middle of the deck okay and think about your card keep thinking about it and then it's like it's just like i said it's just a little bit of acting you can say well i think i've seen i think your card uh oh, when it first went in it was in the 28th position see it it's coming up it's rising up through the deck keep pressing on it your card is five cards down from the top and do it slow like that just slow like you're thinking about it. just take your time with this relax for a few minutes take your time remember this is your break as a magician you're doing nothing nothing no sleight of hands you're not touching the cards anyway any way Okay, see the five comes up, you know, okay, the five's telling you because they're in numeric order. One, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth card, see, right there. Pretty simple trick. <laughs> like I said, just about a perfect trick because, yeah, you don't have to touch the cards whatsoever. Okay, now, you are in this position right here. Okay, now if you watched my last card trick video on the Ban and Triumph, which I'm going to leave a link, uh, which I'll try to leave a link here on the screen. I'll definitely leave it a, a link at the end of this video and also in the description box to go and look at the Ban and Triumph video. Not enough of you guys will watch that video anyways. And it's a very important triumph effect. A lot of magicians have used this. A lot of magicians consider it their, their favorite triumph. Okay, you've seen Chris Angel, David Blaine, many magicians use the band, what's called the Ban and Triumph. And I taught it in my last video and more people need to see that. I'm not begging for people to watch that video, but I'm kind of surprised at the viewer count on that one because it's really one of the most important videos. And it goes with this. You are at the position right now to go into the Bannon Triumph or to be very well set up with it, even from a new deck, okay? Um, but what you're gonna need to do is take that card. Once you finish this one, the Lazy Man's card trick, you're gonna take that card, whatever their chosen card was, just go ahead and throw it on top. Pick up the deck, turn them over, pick up these cards, turn them over, okay? And then thumb off whatever you need in a numerical order. There's a four. Go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and king. Just do that. You can do that right underneath people's noses. You know, they don't have to be looking at, at uh, exactly what cards you're pulling off. You're just rearranging your deck, and then you go and throw those on top, and then immediately go into a false shuffle. Just false little shuffle there. False overhand shuffle. Okay. Just... Do it again. So you explain, you know, yeah, we yeah, had that new deck. I'm going to have to mix up this new deck real good. And you're just maintaining that top stock the whole time, okay? Right there. Okay, now you are set up for the Bannon Triumph right there. To do the Bannon Triumph in spades. As long as you do that, okay? That's why I was saying it that one. I've got a great trick for you guys that leads right into the Bannon Triumph. Okay, so that's, that's all you have to do from there. And you... Are perfectly set up now to do the Bantam Triumph. Go spread the cards, take a card. You guys go watch that video. Okay, definitely go watch that video. When you get done with this one, you gotta learn this. You gotta learn Lazy Man's card trick and then great way to go into the Bannon Triumph. Okay, enough about that. You need to go see the Bannon Triumph video and learn that trick. These two go perfectly together. Um, but okay, like I was saying, now this does not have to be done with a new deck. Okay, by no means. Okay, you can do it in, in any suit. We'll grab the the spades back out again. You just need the spades on the bottom like that. That's all you need at all. Okay, you just need them just like they would be out of a fresh deck. Ace through king going up. Okay, you just need them at the bottom of the deck like that. Okay, and that's how it works. Once again, you know, somebody cuts to it. They look at that. Okay, ten of clubs. Go over here. Cut that on top, give the cards maybe a couple cuts, tell them they don't have to cut it, too, -hoo, too close. Okay, now we got the ace that time around. This is an interesting thing that's just come up, which I really like, okay? If you do this and the ace has come up there, or if you see a spade when you turn it over, Harry Lorraine, the originator of this trick, highly suggests definitely you're not going to stop there, okay? Even though you got the ace, don't worry, okay? You're not going to stop there. Even though you have a spade there, okay? 
don't get greedy. You're going to milk this out, okay? You still want them to cut. Harry the Rain liked doing it and joking with people at, while they were cutting the deck, okay? And then cut it again, okay? Go ahead and cut, cut it again. Okay, now this time we get another spade. You get another spade come up, I would say, fine, you got it, okay? So, you know, it took a few, you saw in the, when I did the performance of this, the demonstration of this trick that it, uh, yeah, it took a few times and it may take that, but try to make some fun with it, you know, can you do it while you're looking at me? Can you do it with your mouth open? Can you, you know, whatever, it's, you know, just to have some fun with the people and stuff. It's, it's a good opportunity to have that fun, get a couple laughs out of it. Don't worry, it won't take very long and though, especially with a new deck, they're going to cut to, uh, to a spade pretty quick. So there we go, just a few cuts and we have cut to a spade. We're at a two. Turn it over. Have them put their finger on the top and okay, wow, I think when your when your card first went in, it was about in the 36th position. It's I can see it, it's moved up through the deck. I can see it, I can almost see it. It's keeps it's moving up, it's moving. It's, it's it's almost at the top of the deck, but not quite. Almost. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's the, the second card down from the top. Okay. Yep. One, two. There you go, guys. This, this trick couldn't be any easier. You're not telling you the whole thing. You're not touching. You don't touch the cards. Remember that. You don't touch the cards. Just have to give very specific directions to your spectators. Good spectator control. If they know how to, not if they know how to cut a deck of cards and not let them go fly all over the place, that's your perfect spectator. Because if they let them fly over the place, yeah, the trick might be done. But you don't want them to do that. But then, then once again, remember when that when the trick is over with, okay? Like I said, you take with their card, what there was their chosen card, put it on top, flip this over, flip this over, okay, and then. Right, right there, you are totally set up. Go ahead and do that. Don't even worry. They they won't even notice anything that you're doing there. You can even square those back up if you want to. Talk to somebody and stuff, and then just cut them to the top, and then you're just going to shuffle off anyways. You're going to just going to do a little false overhand shuffle action. Okay, maintain your top stock, and you know you can go right there into the Bannon Triumph. Is ready to go from that trick. A good pair of tricks to put together. That is a really good pair of tricks to, to put together, so in, my, in my opinion, and in a, a lot of magicians' opinions. Okay, very good pairing of tricks. So, yeah, learn both of these. Definitely learn Lazy Man's card trick, and definitely go check out my video for the Bannon Triumph. Very, very important. Okay, you guys? Um, well, that probably takes care of the tutorial. Let's get into the talking about the contest here real quick before I get this video done. I got some, I got some cards around here. Uh, hey, if you liked uh, last month's contest, man, you're going to love this month's contest because it's really like the same thing. <laughs> okay, we're going to give, give away. One person is going to, one winner will receive a four-pack of bicycle playing cards. Another winner will get a two-pack of the jumbo bicycle pe playing cards. Uh, I hate to bore you guys with a contest, and I like mix, mixing the prizes up when I can. But right now, at the moment, as far as re as far as retail things that I can get get for my contest and everything, uh, pretty much got to stick to the standards here and everything. But uh, th these are great cards, you know, nonetheless. And you guys need cards, and you know, I always love giving them away. So. Okay, now to get in on the June contest, uh, really easy. First of all, definitely very important, got to thumbs up this video. Give this video a like. Get on down there and do that even if you're not getting in, in the contest. Go on down there, hit the like button. Very important, the first step for you guys to get uh, qualified into the June contest. Um, yeah, like I said, you got to like this video. You have to be a subscriber here at Cool Magic Forum. And then every video I give a question or I ask a question and I ask you guys' opinion or get, ask for a little answer from you to, down there in the comment section below, which you guys do an always great job at it. And then I get to go and uh, talk to you guys there and uh, interact with you and uh, answer back uh, some of the messages that you leave there and some of the comments that you leave there. It's really a lot of fun for me. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your all's opinion. It's uh, really, really interesting to read my comment section. You guys ever get a, get a minute and you haven't read the comment section here at Cool Magic Forum, do it. It's always really good. You guys give a lot of great answers. Uh, the question I believe I'm going to ask in this video to make the last step and get qualified in the June contest is what do you believe is the most important thing that you do to get the spectators on your side during a trick? What is that? 
What is the best thing that you can do to get the spectators on your side, okay? You leave your answer, your opinion to that down there in the comment section below. And like I said, uh, then you may be qualified uh, to win uh, either the four-pack of bicycle playing cards or two, uh, two packs of the Jumbo Pip bicycle playing cards. That was almost really hard to say really fast. <laughs> But hope you guys enjoyed that trick. Definitely. You got to like keep saying it enough. I can't say it enough until the last time I'm going to say it in this video. Learn lazy, lazy man card trick. La learn lazy man's card trick. That was easy to say. And go and watch my video for the ban and triumph and put those two tricks together and you got a one, two punch. Great, great pair of powerful tricks. Okay. One of them, like I said, lazy man's card trick. You don't even touch it. It can be a new deck. You don't even touch the deck. Okay. So you guys have fun with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay cool and I'll see you in my next one.